about banks, Lata Venkatesh caught up with Deepak Parikh, the chairman of the housing finance major HDFC, and began by asking him about the prospects of affordable housing and can economic growth revive on the back of the boost that the government has given to affordable housing. Uh, interesting, uh, Dissonant. See, this is the 40th year of HDFC. Okay. And with the recent budget, I'm more excited today than I was 40 years ago okay. about the prospects of housing, affordable housing. Okay. With, the, with the incentives given in this budget, with the regulations coming in place, with the recovery of easier recovery of bad housing loans. So affordable housing is the biggest growth engine that India will have in the next five years. No, no, I'll tell you, you know, the Avas Yojana is uh, meant for first time buyers and there is a process, you know, the NHB has to approve it. Last time around when that 6% subvention for 6% uh, uh, interest loan was given, uh, the NHB didn't have a large number of houses approved. That is what gives me skepticism. So Do you what? think this will pay off? So, the first scheme which was announced under the Avas Yojana was two years old. Yes. The scheme that then that was for EWS and LIG. Mm -hmm. The scheme announced this year was for MIG1 and MIG2. Okay. Now, MI, this is called CLSS, yes. um, Credit Link Subsidy Scheme. Yes. Now, here it is such a practical scheme and it's extremely well thought out that it gives upfront money to a prospective home buyer provided he is not a homeowner yeah. he's a first time homeowner if your income is between 6 to 12 lakhs you get a subsidy of 4% on a 9 lakh loan okay. and if your income is between 12 to 18 lakhs you get a subsidy of 3% now these are front end subsidies a 20 year loan so what has the government done government has said that down payment is not possible for most families. Yes. If you need 20-25% down payment, it's not possible because you don't have that savings. Abroad you get 90% loans. We have 80% as a limit. Yes. This credit subsidy which will be given upfront on a 20 year amounts to anywhere between 2 to 3 lakhs of rupees. So that adds to the down payment of the individual. But even then the individual has to come with his 20% down Not payment. 20. This can be 10. Okay. This okay. can be 10. He has to come with 10 and get the balance as loan. So what we need really is massive construction. Massive construction of homes of this type. The other practical step here is they have divided this into two parts. The four metros. Mm. And the metros are only Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai. And it's only municipal limits. Yes. Peripheral areas are not metros. So a Thane or a Kalyan or a Dombibli or a, a separate municipal. Okay. There, there the limit of homes is uh, 60, 60 square meters while this, this is 30. Again, they have said carpet area. You add 40% to 60. 840 square feet in a Thane or outside the NCR you don't need larger flats then it's a reasonably sized flat yeah but i thought already there are enough vacant flats uh, you know almost finished buildings this should have started i mean we are uh, it was announced in jan and i think in march we got the final rules we have not seen that kind of movement see we get to know from developers every developer every and believe me even the biggest of the developers who only build luxury homes have started looking for land for affordable home. Why? Single point agenda. It's tax free. Show me one industry which has the tax incentive that you make whatever tax profits you make, there is zero tax. And it goes on till 2021. Because we want more stock of affordable housing. Now, if you have a 20 30 percent margin in a project and you pay zero tax, your returns will be phenomenal. Private equity from abroad are wanting to sign up with developers. Sovereign wealth funds are wanting to come in to fund affordable housing, to buy land, to support developers. So it's going to be a boom that we have not witnessed. Please okay. believe me. Okay, what's the timeline, sir? Next I five mean, years. Five years? It, it okay. takes time okay. to buy land, get approval. I wish the approval process, the state government brings it faster. But the approval process in India but takes too long. See, uh, can we see uh, you know, a bunch of home loans being uh, signed up uh, in FI, end FI 18 itself. Why not? 
you expect you you you, you ask ask us say uh, demonetization hit us hit everyone in november yeah. and december our january sanctions were 21% more than december our february sanctions applications received were another 24% higher march was 44% higher so the the two months which were bad or the uh, two months which were bad november december they're all behind us we see a massive growth already happening now on the unsold stocks most stocks that are unsold are higher value stock okay. they are not the 25 30 lakh flats okay. they are the 50 lakhs 1 crore and above flats we need smaller flats we need flats on the peripheral of big cities we need flats which come in under definition of okay. so of in your estimate uh, how many lakh houses are you looking at under this scheme in fy18 more importantly in fy19 see 18 till march this year a lot of planning because mm -hmm. there is now demand for land big lands we have got a private equity fund with almost 500 million dollars Uh, from a sovereign wealth fund only for affordable housing 12 year money and and they are willing to put more money so we have we have already uh, supported three developers in different parts of the country where we are saying we are funding you for the land through a private equity vehicle and uh, affordable housing will come up there and we are looking at prices of 3000 rupees to 999 to start off with and 4000 a square foot and Uh, okay. in, so yeah. we need large number mm. it's not going to be tomorrow but the activity has started the hunt for land has started the hunt for equity has started and uh, the benefits will come over 3 years okay so do you expect this to uh, satisfy a bunch of sectors i mean the big problem for us is really employment uh, we have had for too long a no uh, job growth uh, kind of uh, economy do you think that also gets addressed and the biggest multiplier effect in any industry is housing it impacts practically every sector of every industry every part cement steel sand labor skilled labor unskilled labor professionals engineers architects the number of industries housing touches and connects is the largest in the world so in 3 years we would be back to that 25% kind of home loan growth uh, that we did see in the 2003 I, I 2008 period happen. i expect maybe even more we oh, need yeah. supply see funding is there raw materials are there labor is there we need uh, we need quicker approval from state government okay for, uh, now in that process is where you have the rare now Uh, the real estate incentive okay. is a very bold move by the government and uh, i give full credit to the government that because it im impacts so many industries and you know we are saying why the indian private sector is not increasing investments steel and cement will be in short supply if this happen if this kicks off by when you think by in, in two no, years no i'm i'm i've got some i've got some uh, cement company saying we are looking at putting an expansion next year starting the expansion takes 2 3 years they to build the cement they are only 70% capacity yeah but they still the, uh, the new ones will take 3 4 years you can't build a cement plant in a short time so you think capex so is round the corner for india uh, for i think at least in uh, steel you've come out you've seen again government has come out with a very ambitious and a very uh, practical uh, practical solution now every 2 3 steel companies i've talked to in the last weeks are saying we are planning a expansion of steel all out expansion it takes 3 4 okay, years to build a new facility yeah, please understand is, okay well world is oversupplied with steel i thought so should we still be building uh, you know i'm going to come to that steel problem uh, if you will give me a little time to talk about the npl issue as well but first uh, the real estate regulator uh, i mean how do you see that in the scheme of things will it uh, the indian consumer has suffered at the hands of builders no two ways about it and yours truly is one example my flat at the moment is delayed by 18 months do i get relief now you will get relief now the real estate regulation and development act 2016 has been notified by may may 117 maharashtra is one of the first states that have taken it on board and so far i think about 9 states and 6 union territories have adopted adopted the the rera the But again this help only prospectively no, no. what about those of us who are stuck now no ongoing projects all ongoing projects ongoing yours is an ongoing project yeah. 
have to be registered with Vera within three months. Leave alone the new ones. Okay. Ongoing, both commercial and residential. Okay. Commercial and residential. And um, I think Vera is a is a new era in real estate. Yeah. We'll have a new, transparent, efficient era is being developed because real estate has been. Uh, most individuals have suffered yes. uh, by getting delayed uh, housing or poor inferior quality or not getting it or money being siphoned away. But again, it's taken some time, but this government had the courage to bring out RERA, although land is a state subject, it was introduced as a central act. All states have been asked to follow it.